Welcome back to the channel guys. So many new and exciting things have been happening in the Meshtastic world lately, including the launch of the new Helltech T114 Mesh node. So if you want to know more about this, go check out my video link in the description where I'll introduce this new product. If you want to know more about Meshtastic, I've linked a introduction to Meshtastic as well, because I know there's been a lot of people commenting saying, what is all this stuff about? Anyway, today's video is going to be about the new Bender case for the Helltech T114. Just received this from Zero Fox 3D and it does not disappoint. So here it is then guys, the Bender case for the Helltech T114. So this, I mean, what can I say about it? The quality of this. I've always loved this case from the beginning um, because I've always envisaged having like a, a router sort of style device that you can just stick near a window ledge or, you know, if you're out and you go to a new location, you can just pop this down on the desk and it will work um, very, very well. And this just solves that problem. You've got that kind of um, kink in it, which obviously makes the display um, up at an angle so you can read it better. And of course, that's even more important now because the Helltech T114 has got a nice colour display on it, although it can be a bit difficult to read sometimes um, because it is very, very small. But yeah, the quality of this is absolutely brilliant up to normal Zero Fox 3D standards. I don't know how he gets these prints so good. But yeah, anything I print never comes out looking like this. So um, kudos to him. These are excellent. So you can buy the files and print them yourself if you want to. But to be honest, I'd just grab one ready to go because it comes with all the hardware and you literally don't need to you know, worry about printing and all that sort of palaver. So you might have noticed this little bung in the side here. That's actually for solar charging wires because the Helltech T 114 does support solar charging so yeah that's really nice you could sort of get one of these kind of you know cheap solar panels um sort of you know three or four or five watt solar panel just make up a little lead they use the same connectors as the uh, the little battery ones um, little jsts i think they are and yeah this is a decent size for those solar panels that have got that sort of you know a bit bit of a thicker cable on like the ones that are designed for like you know water features that sort of stuff so if you're not familiar with the design of these these have been really popular for the original Helltech v3 boards um you know this really kind of changed the game there's a video about this going back um you know a few months now um <laughs> that's how quick quickly all this stuff's moving um but yeah basically i declared my love for this um this design um pretty early on mainly because it just covers all bases let's so you've got a, an 18650 battery holder in the back here now the Hiltec t114 is just going to run forever on one of these little little batteries um whereas the earlier Helltech uh, won't be running as long because the power consumption is a lot worse this rear panel just feels so solid in the hand and everything just clicks together so nicely with this so obviously on this one you've got a top mounted sma they did do a side mounted case but obviously it means that some of these antennas have got to come out here and then and then go up like have a bend in them so i think chris has decided just to sort of go with the direct antenna going up which makes a lot lot more sense so this is a great node as i say for just placing somewhere maybe like on a window ledge somewhere um you know to, to sort of join your local mesh and then you can start to see you know what what's going on later on you could put this up in the loft somewhere maybe um and then you could sort of you know remotely access it by wi-fi or or bluetooth chris also has these antennas from pt place which is just like a sort of monopole um quarter wave antenna they work pretty well probably have a slight edge over these existing ones that come with the Helltex. so you can see they look really smart on the bender case they're bendy as well so you can have a bendy antenna for your bender um, and all will be good now being a monopole quarter wave antenna these would actually work even better with a ground plane so if you have something metal like a piece of foil or something like that you could put your bender case on top of that or maybe like a biscuit tin lid or something um, something metal uh, to reflect the signals that'd probably improve things even more but if you just want to use it like that it will actually work and as I say it'd be kind of comparable probably have a I probably have the edge over that if you want to turn it into a monster you can use one of these which is sort of a got quite a lot of gain um, and you can put it on the top it does look a bit ridiculous but if this is up sort of somewhere high you can put that in a loft space as I say and you're going to get out pretty far um, using that just having an antenna with a bit of gain um, can really really be the difference between sort of making contacts and not really making contacts um, basically so links to all this stuff are in the description of course on the front of the enclosure we've got an on off switch just like the original bender 
Um, I really like that because it just it's just a clear way of basically turning off power to the node and you can see we're starting up. I mean, <laughs> the resolution of that screen, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm hoping soon we might be able to sort of get these, this you know font to be a bit bigger um, maybe the firmware in the firmware they'll maybe add some adjustments for like smaller screens or something like that i don't know because it's a little bit small um but yeah you've got access to the switches on the front here as well with the heltec t114 the way they've kind of implemented their switches here um they feel very very nice because they've got this kind of um extra layer on the top one thing i did notice about the heltec t114 um is i thought there was like a cover over the top of this screen it turns out it's not actually a cover it's like a it's just polished plastic i think so um these scratch quite easily as well so it's a little bit annoying um but obviously once it's in a case like this then you know it's less likely to be scratched because you you know it's kind of inset there so as you can see this node is sitting here nicely doing its thing part of the mesh and yeah as i say it'll run for ages on one of these um 18650s so be interesting to see how long it will <laughs> probably you're probably talking about a week i would have thought um on on one of those 18650s even on a a medium kind of busy mesh um also you can see the light flashing through here as well um that's really nice just to show a little heartbeat showing that it's on and working. So you've probably already noticed these. There's a few different color options that you can sort of go for um, to customize your bender case. This one's been quite a popular one as well, like the camo camo green. Um, that looks really smart with the, with the black. So it's cool that you can kind of customize things a bit. So in the kit, you get the main housing like this, and you also get the SMA um, connector there as well, which just easily connects onto the Heltex IPEX. So everything's quite plug and play. You get this 18650 battery holder with a built-in switch. It's pretty easy to assemble. The SMA connector was actually already on this one, but look, you even get a little kind of tool for tightening up the SMA um, adapter as well. So it's really thought of everything there. But yeah, to put this together, it's very, very simple. You just put these wires through the back here, making sure that the, the little white connector is on, on the left-hand side here and the switch is on the other side. You just push the battery holder in there and it just stays in place. And then you can see on the front, you've got your power connector, you've got your antenna connector and also the switch. So next you just connect up the power, make sure you put it on the right one, um, not the solar one, we want the battery one. So we're just gonna click that into place there. And then what you sort of do is kind of line up the USB port um, on the side of this here into that where that hole is sort of just line that up like that and then you can kind of just click that in and that will stay in place as well so the tolerances on this are so like perfect it just everything just fits and snaps together really really well so next up you want to be quite careful with this little connector it's quite fragile there's a little bit of a knack to these i sort of use like a little um, pair of tweezers just to get that seated and then just very lightly press that down and you'll hear it click and it goes on so that's the antenna done Finally, all you've got to do is just put the switch into the little recess there. And again, this just fits absolutely snugly, perfect, not even any need for any glue. And then that is your main sort of case on. At that point, you can actually just snap down this front and the little switch cover there goes on there and you can just sort of push that in. Actually, the best thing to do with this is to press this on when you've actually got the front panel off and just sort of sandwich the switch between um, this uh, cover and the back and then that kind of just kind of makes it really snug but you can see that's working absolutely fine there and then you can just grab an 18650 snap that in snap the back panel on and you're good to go so a quick note about the GPS that you can actually get for the Heltec T114. Um, that will actually, it will actually fit in there. It's very tight. There's no dedicated place in this enclosure for the GPS because it is designed for to be like a, a kind of, you know, home-based node where you can set the GPS manually or you can even just check the box that shares your phone location with, with the device anyway. So it's not always necessary to have a hardware GPS in there, sucking more power and taking up more space in the case. So that is it for this one, guys. This is the Bender case for the Heltec t114 go grab one now links in the description catch you next time